helm for the Browns. As Bernie Kosar sidelines watching his friend, fellow alum from Miami, Bernie, Vinny Testaverde. In the first half, Testaverde throws to Juan Wolfley for six yards. Then it's complete to Leroy Hort. A play action for Vinny. Good looking play for seven yards to Hort. Then on second and ten, the screen to touchdown Tommy Vardell, who rumbles with those big shoulder pads for 28 yards. And yes, he does score a touchdown. Seven nothing Browns. Cleveland had the running game going. That's what they really like to do. Randy Baldwin cuts outside, picks up seven. Then it's Baldwin again, weaving his way through for another seven yards. And if you do the work, I mean, you, you should eventually get the reward, should you not? So, instead of running it, Vinny looks for Baldwin. The swing of the right, where's the defense? Oh, there it is. Makes the cut, 14 nothing Browns. What's going on, Tom? Yeah, here as we take a replay, there are three Bengals right in the center of your screen on one receiver. That opens up the coverage for one-on-one -on -one outside to Baldwin. He gets one-on-one -on -one with anyone. That's usually gonna be a TD. Cleveland defense getting it done today as well. David Klingler hit from behind by Clay Matthews. Michael Dean Perry, number 92, picks up the fumble. Klingler would leave the game with a bruised lower back. Questionable for next week's game at Houston. But back to Cleveland, Vinny Testaverde finds Brian Heat in the kitchen for one yard, and it's 21-0 Cleveland. Vinny on the day, not a lot of yards, and actually below 50%, but hey, three touchdowns that he threw very early in the first 20 minutes. Bengals having problems. This was Klingler under pressure. This time, uh, he missed. And the running game didn't work either. I would say not. Harold Green had eight carries for 12 yards. Same result. What's happening, Tommy? Well, as you take a look here, you can't run the short plays when this on this kind of a down. Here, second down and 15. You've got too many Browns filling the lanes, too many Browns outside, too many Browns everywhere. Now, you know what the problem is with the Bengals? Their coach, David Shula, has better speed than the rest of the team. Look at him <laughs> beat them all into the locker room at halftime. First half, though, one bright spot for the Bengals. Tim Crum Ryan has it. He battled back from the serious injury. Hits Vinny. Fumble. The Bengals recover. Eventually, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, fumbling. Vinny was shaking up and stays in the game. The Bengals do capitalize on the miscue. Jay Schrader. Now at quarterback for the injured Klingler. To Jeff Query, touchdown, 21 to 7. Second half, kind of uneventful. Vardell to Mark Carrier. And the double reverse for the 15-yard score, 28 to 10 Browns. And uh, this kind of sums it up because uh, only 34 yards rushing and 14 carries for the Bengals. They were on ice. Once again, they still remain the only team yet to win in the NFL this year, 194 yards in offense. And the Browns going to win it 28 to 17, their first win in Cincinnati in six years.